my family for all the support of me, and my coach, Coach Brown, and all the other coaches, and my teammates for you know, just being there with me. And with that being said, I'll be all right. All right. Yeah. Welcome to the Talking Falls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. That was three-star athlete Shannon Blair making it official as he commits to Tennessee. You may be saying, Boogie, why why are you making a video? He's a walk-on. Why, why are we talking about this? What is this about? Well, we're going to talk about how Tennessee is adding depth on National Signing Day through walk-ons. Yes, walk-ons. You may be sitting there saying, wait, what, Boogie, what are you talking about? Bear with me. We're going to talk about it. Just do me a favor. Just below the video, hit that thumbs up. It's free. It's quick. It's easy. It helps the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're new to the Talking Balls Network, welcome. We're not experts. We're not insiders. We are fans just like you. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. But let's jump into it. Let's talk about this. It's National Signing Day. Made a video earlier today and talked about how it's kind of not really exciting anymore. Early Signing Day kind of takes away all the excitement. But Josh Heupel and this coaching staff, they have been busy. And just a couple of days ago, they added four preferred walk-ons. Yes, we're talking about walk-ons, uh, but it is what it is. It's not your typical walk-on. So what is going on down there in Knoxville? Uh, like I said, just a couple of days ago, they added four of these guys. But I want to take a, a look at one of them in particular. Uh, that is Derek Taylor. Uh, you can see the profile there up on the screen. Uh, 6'3", 196 pounds. He's an athlete, but you can see the rating there. And yes, I say all the time, star ratings don't really matter, but you don't typically see a three-star athlete with this potential, with this capability, with this athleticism that comes to your school as a preferred walk-on. So what is going on in Knoxville? Again, uh, here's the other one. Just committed, just showed the video. Sh uh, Shannon Blair. Also a three-star athlete, 6'1", 170 pounds out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, Shannon Blair, the, the interesting thing about him, he was actually committed to Michigan State. He was going to play at Michigan State with a scholarship. Now, he tore his ACL in the first game of his senior season uh, this, this past year in high school, so he is going to have to rehab that. It is going to take some work. Uh, it, it could possibly be a gamble, but again, you're talking about a kid when you look at Shannon Blair, it's not like he was going to play at some podunk university. He had offers from Appalachian State. He had offers from Duke, from Memphis, Purdue, Virginia. This kid had offers from legitimate schools. And you can say, yeah, those aren't big-time schools. Do I need to remind you what Purdue did to us in the bowl game? So don't take it lightly that Shannon Blair has some potential. He has some talent. So how, how and why is he coming to Tennessee as a preferred walk-on? When you go and look at what Tennessee was able to do through the transfer portal, adding Jackson Hanna at linebacker, a position of need. Three-star kid coming out of high school. Charlie Browder added him from Central Florida. Three-star kid coming out of high school, also graded as a three-star prospect through the transfer portal according to 24-7 Sports. Navy Shuler transferred from Appalachian State. Three-star coming out of high school, also graded as a three-star through the transfer portal. So again, Boogie, what are you talking about? You've lost your mind. You're talking about walk-ons. Tennessee has been getting a lot of criticism for what they've done in the transfer portal. I should say lack of what they've been able to do in the transfer portal. Going back to what Jason Swain said a couple of weeks ago, Tennessee has a top 10 NIL compared to any other te team or school in the country. We continue to wait. Every time a recruit doesn't go our way, Isaiah Nair flips to Texas. Jared Verse flips to Florida State. We immediately throw our hands in the air and start talking about Tennessee isn't getting it done through NIL. Our NIL program sucks. They're terrible. We're not offering any kids. Tennessee is, has managed to add four players graded as three stars in the transfer portal that's not typical for a preferred walk-on what is going on in knoxville i don't have any proof 
I don't have any evidence, but something leads me to believe that they are offering some type of NIL deal to get these kids on campus as walk-ons when they have the potential to legitimately add depth. Now, am I saying that Shannon Blair or Derek Taylor or Navy Shuler, Jackson Hanna, am I saying that e any of these guys are going to make a difference on game day? No, I'm not saying that. There's the potential. They have that opportunity. But what they add is much needed depth. As we went into the 2021 season, this, this football program was down below 75 scholarship players. That is brutal. That is brutal. There's rumors of a scholarship reduction. It sounds like Tennessee's going to be back up to 85 once we get through the spring. How much more does that help that you're adding these guys as walk-ons? Now with the addition of Jason Jenkins, he is a scholarship player. Tennessee's going to be right at 80. They're going to have five spots open. Now if you take these, these four to five players that I just rattled off that are three-star caliber players that are coming in as walk-ons, you add those guys to the scholarship uh, group, you no longer really have that room as you move into the summer to add guys via the transfer portal. So what Josh Heupel and this coaching staff and the NIL, again, allegedly, I have no proof or evidence of that. What they've been able to do is add depth, leaving it open to go into that transfer portal, offer some big time NIL deals and bring in some game changing talent to Knoxville. Now, do I know that's going to happen? No, I, I don't. We're going to have to sit back and wait and see what Josh Heupel and this staff does. Now, you may be saying, Boogie, there, there's not going to be any talent available. It's all gone. They've already taken We are going to see a wave. We are going to see a huge wave of talent go into that transfer portal before, during, and after spring pra practice takes place, particularly after spring camps after spring games wrap up, guys have an idea where they're at on the depth chart. Tennessee, I have no doubt, is going to be able to go out there and attempt to recruit legitimate game-changing talent. It's going to be there. The proof is going to be in the pudding, though. Do they get it done? If, if we go through all of spring, all of summer, Tennessee doesn't add any type of game-changer via the transfer portal, we can start to worry. We can maybe start to question what is going on with NIL. But when you're adding guys like Derek Taylor, like Shannon Blair, legitimate three-star prospects in the class of 22, when you're adding guys like Jackson Hanna, Charlie Browder, and Navy Shuler as walk-ons to your program, something's going on there. These guys are not just saying, I'm going to I'm gonna give my all for Tennessee. Navy Shuler's not sitting back saying, my, my dad, my dad's got all the money in the world. I'm fine. I'll just walk on to Tennessee. These guys aren't doing that. You've already seen Navy Shuler announce a deal with Spire Sports. You're seeing Justin Williams announce a deal with Spire Sports. As soon as these guys come in, James Pierce, the defensive lineman, just got bumped to a five-star. Pretty convenient. Immediately after, announces a deal with Spire Sports. Guys, this NIL, I'm starting to get excited. I think you can hear it in my voice. I think things are finally turning in the right direction. You know what to do. Hit that comment section. Give me your thoughts. I'm sure there will be some smart remarks talking about walk-ons and how it doesn't matter. But if you can see, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Open your eyes. Look at the big picture. Hit that comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you have not done so yet, please smash that thumbs up on the way out the door. Also, go check out the official merchandise of the Talking Vols Network. Go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Vols. Any and all support would be greatly appreciated. Got all kinds of different merchandise. Don't forget myself and the Indie Kid will be live coming up Sunday evening with your 2022 baseball preview. Uh, also talking to the Indie Kid and Diver today. Uh, they're going to be doing a basketball watch party sometime next week. So make sure you tune in for that instead of going live after the game. They're going to fire up a stream, watch the game live with you guys on air. So check that out. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. That's going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Falls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange. <laughs>